Good day everyone, Dr. Polaris here. Unfortunately, dear viewers, I will not be producing full videos concerning the ancient faunal communities of Paleocene South America, Africa, Australia, Antarctica, India or Madagascar. While there are several reasons behind this decision, the most important is simply that fossil finds from these areas are extremely limited. While on our own Earth, these areas have been subjected to decades of intensive study. On Alter Earth, a combination of a lack of resources, dangerous local wildlife and harsh working conditions have impeded paleontological studies in these regions. As in our world, the fossil record is silent in Australia, Antarctica and Madagascar. But South America and Africa have yielded a few bits and pieces of noteworthy Paleocene dinosaur material. For those of you who would like a summary of the few interesting finds from these continents, I will provide a brief list of the salient finds. The only Paleocene fossil site so far explored in South America is the Tiupampa site from Bolivia 65 to 61 million years ago. The following dinosaurs have been recovered. Number 1. Mizqueraptor muizoni an advanced troodontid, most likely a descendant of Troodon. The first troodontid known from the continent, this animal stands at the base of a large radiation of South American forms that later radiated into many environmental niches. Overall, this animal was very similar to Troodon itself in terms of size and niche. At roughly two metres long and possessing an omnivorous diet, this adaptable generalist thrived in the tropical rainforests of Paleocene Bolivia. In the Eocene, descendants of Troodontes such as this radiate into large herbivores, speedy ornithomimosaur analogues, and generalist omnivores. Number 2. Novasaurus longicaudatus. A small, two metre long elasmerian ornithopod with an unusually long tail. This animal is the only ornithischian dinosaur known from Paleocene South America. Given how diverse Elasmerians would become during the Eocene, there must be many more partial Paleocene genera waiting to be discovered. As it stands, Novasaurus is known from a very scrappy single specimen and cannot be classified within any of the later Elasmerian groups. Number 3. Bolivarosaurus ventosus a 12 metre long Aeolosaurian titanosaur, known from a partial skeleton consisting of tail vertebrae, an ulna, several ribs, a scapula and an incomplete pubis. This animal was relatively small and gracile for a titanosaur, features that have led paleontologists to suggest a close relationship to the Cretaceous genus Gondwana titan. Number 4. Molinosaurus fortacrus an abelosaur known only from a partial right tibia and the lower half of the left femur. Its size is unknown, but was probably in the area of 6 metres. Only two dinosaur genera have been recovered from Paleocene North Africa, the Auled Abdoun Basin from the Middle Paleocene, 61 to 58 million years ago. These include, number 1, Phosphatodon dawiensis, a lambiosaurian hadrosaur known only from a partial skull, lower jaw, cervical vertebrae and a fragment of the ischium. From the little that is known of this animal, it appears to be a close relative of the Cretaceous French hadrosaur Pararabdodon. Number 2. Abdunosaurus simus. An abelisaurid known from a partial skull. The jaws were short and robust, similar to its probable ancestor Chianisaurus. Later abelosaurs would become the dominant carnivores in Africa, growing to enormous sizes later in the Eocene and Oligocene. However, Abdunosaurus itself was probably about 7 metres long and would have preyed on the hadrosaurs and titanosaurs with which it shared its environment. Thank you for watching everyone. I have noticed that the views on some of my videos have been growing steadily and for that I can only thank you all. Also, Congratulations to my new subscribers. Your interest really means a lot to me. I apologise that this video was shorter than usual, but on Alter Earth, Paleocene Gondwan and fossil sites are poorly known, especially when compared to those of the later Eocene. 
I'll be back next week with a new video concerning Eocene North America, so until then, all I can say is, cheerio.